Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Iggy mains, card crafting is here. Yes, we can finally make the cards we so desperately need without having to rely on RNG. The way card crafting works is pretty simple. You dismantle cards for materials, each of these materials represents an affinity, and once you have enough of that specific material, you can craft a card from that affinity. We have Curse Souls representing corruption, Shrapnel for affinity, Algae for growth, Matrix for intellect, Topaz for order, and Metal represents universal. In this video we see Golden Veil, a common order card costing 600 Topazes. If however we want to dismantle a Golden Veil, that would only result in 100 Topaz, meaning we would need to discard 6 of these cards to craft something of the same rarity. I assume the card prices differ based on the rarity, so for example you can expect common cards to be relatively cheap, around 600, meanwhile epic rare cards are likely to cost a lot more. It's also worth noting that crafting does also cost rep, 500 rep to craft 2 Nirvana stones which basically means 250 rep per card as well as 600 topaz. Rep costs like the crafting components are also likely to increase as the rarity of the card goes up, but it's well worth it in my opinion. You could spend at most a couple thousand rep to craft the rarest cards, whereas previously you would have to spend 10,000 rep just to get 5 random cards and usually they were duplicates or cards no one used. I'm finally going to be able to add to my single micro nuke and get rid of those ridiculous bounty stalkers. Let me know which cards you're going to craft first. The next big feature to be added is loot crates. I showed this off in my monolith video and now it's coming tomorrow. You'll have the chance to win that rare golden grok skin, coins, hero skins and emotes as well as hero masteries which is pretty cool. There are also these green, yellow and bluish shards. These represent rep boost or XP boost and the more rare the shards are, the longer the boost duration is. You do have the ability to stop the spinning of the rewards but it does take a while to stop. I don't think you'll be able to stop it on something you actually want, it's more luck but I guess we'll see tomorrow. You can earn loot crates simply by playing and keys can be earned for free through tributes. Normal tributes give you a small chance of getting keys while the master tributes give you a greater chance of getting keys or you can simply buy both with coins. For those of you unsure what tributes are, tributes are earned as you level up your hero. Now loot crates are always a touchy subject for a lot of people because of the way other developers have implemented them in their games but I love the fact that you can get them for free without having to spend a single penny. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about them so let me know in the comment section below. Meanwhile I'll be trying to get that gilded grux skin.